my favorite, my favorite. Because up until then, Sulu was chained to that console there. He was always there, you know, taking instructions or giving responses uh, to uh, queries, but you never saw him away from that. And for the first time with that series, he not only got a chance to leave that console, but to show a whole another side of him. And we discovered that uh, in his deep down uh, hidden psyche, he fancies himself a, a swashbuckler, a d'Artagnan. And that, too, has an interesting uh, history. The uh, man who uh, wrote that script, John D.F. Black, happened to uh, be visiting on the set, oh, about a month before we actually uh, filmed that. And he told me that he was preparing this uh, script where uh, this virus invades uh, members of the crew of the Enterprise through the palm of our hand, and it destroys all in inhibitions, and we start acting out on our deep down, hidden uh, desires. And uh, he said he was thinking of putting a, a samurai sword in uh, Sulu's hand, and he goes around accosting everybody with a samurai sword. And I said, well, that's uh, ethnically consistent because I'm of Japanese ancestry. But I said, uh, you know, Sulu is supposed to be a 23rd century guy. Now, I'm a 20th century Japanese American, and I didn't play samurai as a kid, you know. And I said, uh, if anything, after um, going to the movies and seeing um, Earl Flynn as Robin Hood, I came back uh, home, had my mother make me a Robin Hood outfit. My backyard became Sherwood Forest, and I organized the neighborhood kids, and uh, we had make-believe uh, Robin Hood uh, in my backyard. And I was Robin Hood because it was my backyard, and my mother made the costumes. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, why not put a fencing foil in uh, Sulu's hands? And so he asked me, oh, yeah, do you fence? You never ask an actor if we can do anything. Because if it's related to a part, we are masters at it. <laughs> I said, oh, it's my favorite sport. I used to fence when I was young. <laughs> and comforted by that, he went off and uh, developed the fencing for uh, Sulu. That Saturday, I was taking my first formal fencing lesson, and it was Falcon Studios there on uh, Sunset Boulevard, and the man who uh, was my instructor, Mr. Faulkner, I still remember his name, was the man who choreographed the fencing sequences in The Adventures of Robin Hood, and he had doubled for Basil Rathbone in some of the close-up shots. So Star Trek made that great big circle for me, that movie that inspired me, swept me away as a child, was the movie that uh, provided me with my fencing instructor because of Star Trek.